Good day, all Drift Builders. Siege here, and for this video, we are going to talk about Jin Xiao. Armed with his favorite three talent sphere, Jin Xiao fight for his liberators, audaciously challenging any foe, no matter the odds. Jin Xiao is an early game jungler which takes advantage of his strong early game to bully the enemy team into snowballing the game to win it fast and early. Now for Jin Xiao's abilities. His passive is Determination. Determination makes your jungle clear extremely fast and it makes you deal so much auto attack damage in combination with your other abilities. Plus, it heals you every time it procs. It also works on towers and even on wards. His first ability is 3 Talent Strike that empowers Xin Xiao's next 3 auto attacks to deal bonus physical damage. Third auto attack knocks up the target and the 3 attacks also reduces all his other abilities cooldown by 1 second each. 3 Talent Strike is also an auto attack reset so squeeze in an auto attack before casting this ability for the increased DPS. A trick using this ability is to use the first 2 attacks on jungle monsters or minions before engaging on the enemy to surprise them with an the instant knockup. Xin Zhao's second ability is Wind Becomes Lightning. This is Xin Zhao's burst damage ability and it slows affected targets as well. Wind Becomes Lightning is great when paired with a knockup from 3 Talent Strike because it ensures that both attacks will hit the enemy. We will be maxing this ability first because it's a good source of burst damage in the early game. His third ability is Audacious Charge, which is a targeted dash that deals magic damage to the target and nearby enemies. It also slows the target for a short duration and grants Jin Xiao bonus attack speed. A dash's charge can only be used on opponents but it can still be used for escaping by targeting minions or jungle monsters. Jin Xiao can cross walls using this ability. We'll max this second for the bonus attack speed. Jin Xiao's ultimate is Crescent Guard. It deals burst physical damage based on their maximum HP to everyone around him and knocks them back except for the enemy most recently attacked by Jin Xiao or hit by his audacious charge. After the knockback, a ring appears around Jin Xiao. Those outside the ring won't be able to damage Jin Xiao, and the ring moves together with him. You can do an insect style play, which is knocking back an enemy to your team by casting Crescent Guard behind the enemy. You can pull this off using your e audacious charge and flash. Of course, a little practice is a must. And do not forget, do not push enemy tanks into your team which will allow them to initiate on your teammates. Now for Xin Xiao's combos. First is the simple combo which is the basic of all Xin Xiao's combos. It goes like this. A dash's charge, activate 3 talent strike, attack, attack, wait for the knockup and then wind becomes lightning and then follow up with crescent guard. If you are going for an all-in team fight and want to scatter the enemy team or single out an opponent, use this combo. A dash's charge, crescent guard, wind becomes lightning, auto attack, 3 talent strike, auto attack until knock up, wind becomes lightning, auto attack. For the insect play, a dash's charge, flash, crescent guard, wind becomes lightning. Remember not to hit the enemy you are trying to throw into your teammates. Next is Xin Zhao's item bow. Yumu's Ghost Blade will provide armor penetration, bonus movement speed, and bonus attack speed after your first attack. This item will help you snowball through your ganks more efficiently. For his boots, Boots of Swiftness grants the highest movement speed bonus right now and will help you snowball faster. But you should build Mercury Treads or Ninja Tabais if you are not dominating the game as much. Upgrade with a Stasis Enchant for outplaying high worst damage opponents or upgrade with a Glorious Enchant to run down opponents. Next is Trinity Force, a great all-around item which provides a lot of stat bonuses. The Spellblade passive from this item greatly increases his damage output and he'll be able to kill enemies alone with just one combo after completing this item. Sterox Gauge increases your base damage by a huge amount and grants a lot of health as well as a lifeline passive which gives you a shield when your health dips below a certain percentage. Guardian Angel with its Resurrect passive allows you to become more of a risk taker when the passive is available. It will also make your enemies think twice about using their skills just to proc the resurrect passive. Dutch Dance increases both your offensive and defensive capabilities. Its cauterized passive allows more room against burst damage because it converts it into DPS. And for Xin Zhao's runes, Conqueror is the best keystone rune for Xin Zhao. His multiple instances of damage in a short duration will make you reach the maximum possible wounds damage that Conqueror can give. Next is Triumph, which heals you on takedowns and increases your damage against low HP targets. 
You can also pick Brutal for its bonus AD and armor penetration. Get Hunter Titan for the bonus tenacity if they have a lot of crowd controls and Spirit Walker if they have slowing abilities. Finally, pick up Pathfinder to increase your movement speed in the jungle, brushes, and river when out of battle to increase your ganking and roaming potential. That's all for this video, Wild Rift Builders. For the in-depth text guide for Jin Zhao, visit our website lolwildriftbuild.com which you can find in the link in the description below. Thank you for helping us reach 200 subscribers. Help us reach 1000 by participating in our skin giveaway which you can also find in the description below. Until next time.